Hey, this is my setup for the Devolt 7480. Um, I got it to make cabinets and in my research I found that it's pretty much impossible to make cabinets without a good saw. But I didn't have a, you know, a large garage or a big space and um, to have a big saw, uh, a huge table saw. Uh, neither did I have the money for it, so I had to buy this. It's a great saw, but the only problem is it's small. So if you're, if I'm to make uh, cabinets that are um, 48 inches wide, or so, or 40 plus inches, it's difficult to cut wood on this. So I made this table. Uh, you can see, um, it's just a. Uh, uh, square table with a cutout in between uh, it helps with the the in feed and uh, it's a side support over here and there's the out feed over there and the rails routed off uh, which match the roughly match the rails of the table saw so um what it's made up of is uh, basically two um, half inch plywood over here and um, and on top of it there's another one eighth inch thickness something called as tempered hardboard it has a natural uh, smooth side on the top if you go to Home Depot I got this from Home Depot and uh, uh, the outside dimensions rough dimensions is about 42 inches long and about 47 inches wide and the cutout is about 22.5 inches from this edge to this edge and it's about 22 inches wide cut out over here so the saw can fit inside um, so the in feed I tried to make the in feed wider a little bit wider than the out feed the in feed is about 11.5 inches and the out feed is about 8.5 inches um, under this there is a 2x2 two two. you can see here at the in fit edge or running all the way through till the end and there's one on the other side 2x2 two two. it's again running all the way width width wise and there is also a 2x4 if you look under just for the support from running length wise over there so the what I needed was a table uh, an in feed outfit table that I can also fold and put it away so I added these legs which is about 11 inches in height and I added these uh, sorry locks which are called posi locks you can google posi locks uh, they're called posi lock folding leg brackets and what they do is basically you press a button over here and the whole feet moves inside and touches the and uh, lies in flush with the underside of this table so you can fold all the four feet and fold it and put the table away basically uh, and also there is uh, uh, something called a lifting leveler and heavy-duty lifting lever I got this from Rockler uh, that's the only place I found this uh, where I can now adjust both the height or uh, the all four sides of the table to match the surface height of the table saw so I can adjust that so um, that's it uh, the only mistake I did uh, I hope if you try to do something like this then is that the positioning of this leg I didn't think about this but it pretty much aligned with the positioning of the vacuum output so I had to buy this uh, uh, this uh, foldable vacuum output so I can fit my vacuum inside to collect the dust so if you if I had to build it again I would move this leg either outside or inside a little bit so so as to align with this vacuum but that's pretty much it I still have full access to this saw to this scale as you see and uh, I can move the fence uh, I can also raise the access to raise the blade. Blade. Um, so that's my 
infit outfit table for the table so I can fold it and put it away um, and uh, or put it back in or if I have smaller items to cut then I don't use it basically I just use this saw and uh, I'll have another video to show table saw sled that's one of the reasons I had to make this because I had to make a big sled to create to make bigger cabinets um, so I'll post another video about that well thank you very much bye